One thing I'll never do is idolize strangers' relationship or marriages. We all know the unwritten rule of social media. No one shows their struggle. Focus on you and your partner. Figure out what works for both of you. And don't be comparing your partner to random people online. This is coming from ex-Big Brother Niger housemate, Leo Da Silva. Hmm. I think it's pretty simple and straightforward. Yeah, exactly. Right? I feel like this. You do not lie. I feel like that was very, very sound advice. Mm -hmm. People should stop comparing and people should realize that relationships are different. But like I keep on saying, domestic violence and all of those things, that's not what we are talking about when we mm. say don't compare a relationship with mm -hmm. <laughs> don't compare your relationship to others. But I'm saying the peculiarities that come within your relationships depends on you and your partner, your beliefs, your values, you know, whatever it is that applies to me and my partner might not necessarily apply to you and your partner. There's people that could do long distance, for instance, but I would decide that, oh, I cannot do long distance. But so the, to, you can imagine yeah. if the person who, like, who is okay with long distance is looking at my relationship and wondering, oh, when will my relationship be like this? Mm. So people need to realize that they are, when it comes to especially romantic relationships, there are certain peculiarities that are dependent on you and your partner, your personalities, your individuality, that is going to rub off on your relationship and you might not find that in somebody else's own. So maybe it's better you don't compare. I mean, when you put it like that, it makes sense. But when I read it, I didn't really agree. The only thing I agreed to was that you shouldn't compare it to people that are online, random people that are online. But I think there's a very good um, sense of security I get when I am influenced by other people that are in relationships, especially people that have done it before and have done it for a long time. So I'd like to know if the issues that I'm dealing with are, are serious red flags or that they're just normal problems that you can work your way through. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to know if the arguing style is something that's healthy, especially when I'm uncertain about certain things, right? Because you're dealing with someone that is a, of a different personality. Like for my relationship, I'm extroverted, is introverted. We always respond to things differently all the time all the time so for me it's like i'm not I, he can't I, I i don't understand how he's reacting that way i need advice and usually i don't go to my friends i go to people who are in relationships that i know of like my, my mom's friends that have similar dynamics where the man is really quiet and the man's really outspoken like i get a lot of advice from that um and it keeps me on ground it keeps me on check if you go back to the relationship where i've been where i was before this one the reason why i broke up with him was because i actually went and sought and uh, seek advice from other couples as well mm -hmm. then then to give me understanding that this is actually a red flag and that would not go away and that can grow and all that stuff so mm -hmm. sometimes i don't have the capacity to understand fully my environment because i'm too into it and love is blind yeah. and can domin you know switch that yeah, brain but, but system or advice. Yeah. You know, that's getting that's, advice. That's why I said the only, I, I, the only thing I don't I the only thing I agree know. with is him that's why I started with. Yeah. I said the only thing I don't accept is him. I mean, the, thing, the only thing I accept with this quote is that you're comparing to people that are online that you don't know of, but that your relationship should well, be closed from what in. You have said, yeah. You are still not comparing. Yeah, exactly, right. which is what I wanted to say. You're not comparing. You're getting right. advice. You're getting advice from them. You're not saying yeah. my so relationship must be like this. You can't say that what they are telling you is, a, in fact, I can beat my chest to tell you what they are telling you is not exactly how their relationship goes. Exactly. But they will tell you the good things and whatever sounds perfect and nice. But like you said, love blinds. And when you love someone, you take a lot of things and you mm. do a lot of things. They yeah. will never tell you the what happens things. in that relationship. Yes, they will never mm. ever give like, you the full you know, picture. I feel, like so, they're still, I feel like some advices I've gotten you know, personally are pretty down to earth. Like the, some people would tell that, you I'm that. I'm not saying the advices are not down to earth. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's it doesn't the mean they are comparing their relationship to yours. Because if we have to lay it out, which is almost impossible, yeah. you are not getting exactly what is happening in their, in relationship. their relationship. So yes, I get where you're coming from, where she's coming from. So it's it's basically about the individual and right. the yeah. Even when the they day. tell you at the end of the day, of course, you still have to see You back. still have to and look decide. and curb it so, to your yeah. own relationship. Do you like it this way? Okay, you also use the example of being introverted and extroverted. The fact that you have understood that this is the kind of person he is, mm -hmm. and now you understand your space and how you react to it, it has helped you. Yeah. So you might not even necessarily need to speak to people. Yes, it's good to speak to people, but you can easily find out what are the traits of an introvert or an mm. extrovert and understand if you want to cope with this. Yeah. Now, the problem will come when you begin to compare him to so someone who is an extrovert. both extroverted boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. mm -hmm. and they go out together and you yeah. feel like, oh, why can't a man do this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, so that's that is the problem. problem. And, that's the and, and the truth right. is, at the end of the day, you already know 
the individual, yeah. your boyfriend, you know the kind of person he is, which is why I still say it boils down to different individuals. Yeah, so, so you can't really use... boyfriends, fiance. Oh, sorry. <laughs> fiance. Sorry. <laughs> so it still boils down to like the yeah. different individuals and different relationship models would right. not work for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some people who are in open relationships. Yeah. There are some people who are polyamorous. You know, they're different, you know. Different, so if yeah. you are going to start comparing, oh, your yeah. relationship, or he this person's relationship, my call yeah. do you understand? Yeah. Oh, you have to call me all the time. And I've noticed that if you say that way, what bring, comes to my mind is comparison in the social media space. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I know for, I remember Valentine's Day, we talked about it, and mm -hmm. I was complaining that my friends are having marital issues because the guy didn't post, or he didn't give them something that they yes, could post on social media exactly. because their friend has posted. So if that's what he's talking about, then yeah, yeah that of is, course, I think I that it. is where it's coming yeah. from.